one of the things that we recognized uh, several years ago was that if additive manufacturing was gonna take off the way we wanted it to and the way we were projecting it to, we're gonna need a manufacturing facility that is gonna be able to make everything that we were projecting that we we're gonna need to make. Um, we partnered with ISC and hs and &E to determine what that facility needed to look like for the future. Um, it was a collaborative, uh, important cross-functional team that solved a lot of problems. So we built two basic facilities um, and uh, each is separated into two rooms. One facility is, is for metal materials, uh, you know, various metals. The other one is for various polymers. Uh, which need to be separated. They have some different environmental requirements. Safety is the big driver of this. So the planning effort for this was pretty significant. Part of that overlapped with the design phase. Um, the design and construction took us a little bit over a year as well. So it was really a little bit over about two, two and a half year process. Two spaces are about 6,500 square feet each. The polymer room has 15% humidity um, and especially ESD floors, um, whereas the metal, metal room has ESD floors. Both rooms have special filtration on the air handlers. This facility is really what we call advanced manufacturing facility. And it's designed uh, to support a whole host of uh, missions. So if for whatever reason additive were to not take off or go in the direction we expect, um, say we had a, a need to shift to electronics, uh, this facility is designed to accommodate all those changing technologies. So prior to the construction of this facility, all this equipment was scattered throughout the facility. Uh, so uh, another benefit of having a centralized facility really designed for this need uh, allowed us to regenerate space within the existing production departments. I would say that with respect to additive manufacturing, this facility represents something unique within the entire nuclear security enterprise. It's the first of its kind, but I think it's important for everybody to understand that this is just the beginning.